My name is Rob. I play bass in Those Mockingbirds. I'm Adam. I sing and play guitar in Those Mockingbirds. Uh, funny, we actually met in middle school on a playground, and actually you have a good story about that. Yeah, so um, I used to carry around photos of um, Tiffany Amber Thiessen, who played Kelly on Saved by the Bell, and I would charge people uh, 25 cents to kiss the photo, and uh, that's how I met Kevin, because uh, he was, he paid a lot. Kevin I mean, is our drummer. And Kevin's our drummer. I, he paid like $5 over course of one school year yeah. and uh yeah and then years later we became a band and kevin and i knew each other through some other music projects so when he said yo this dude i knew from the saved by the saved by the bell fan club wants to start a band it was <laughs> it's a very weird story but you know it's usually usually how it happens we made up a new thing called thumb rock because it's um Trying to come up with a description for your sound can be very hard for a band. So really, all we want it to be is thumb rock, where it's just basically we want people to hear it and be like, "Thumbs up, that's good, <laughs> we're into it." So thumb rock, remember it. I listen to a lot of trip hop, like Massive Attack and Porter's Head and uh, Tricky, stuff like that doesn't sound anything like our bands whatsoever, but that's kind of my favorite thing in the world right now. Oof. I'll, well, I'll, I'll give mine. That's you. Um, I, I guess it depends on the purpose. Bandcamp is great because it allows you to to do more with your, your music other than just have people listen to it. it you know, you can have it downloaded and you can set your price to be free you can monetize it you can set up merch through it you can set up artwork more specifically um, for each song each release Spotify is great because it's such an emerging product that is has caught on really well and you know there's a lot of controversy about it but unlike a lot of other places you do get paid for your streams and everything and SoundCloud's great because it's it's so um, it's, it's, it's very intuitive from a band perspective you want to embed a widget into a page you can do each song individually you can create playlists and put them in websites and everything so even though there's a lot of similarities between them they all kind of have their own benefits that you know we actually try to take advantage of each one i wish spotify would it, my answer would be spotify if they would let you like embed stuff easier on on like Facebook and stuff like that. If they start doing that, then forget it. Everyone else is done. Uh, I would say, I, I would say, sp spoon, um, a plethora of '90s alternative rock bands. Not to name just one, but that whole era and uh oh man um somebody classic like tom petty or fleetwood mac or something finish school it's a tough road to hoe when you're a musician <laughs> but um it's a tough road to hoe i mean that's really i mean i don't know just Make smart choices. Do what you want to do, and don't don't That's my mess advice. up. We can't curse, can we? We shouldn't. We can. Don't fuck up your life. Yeah. Uh, the best advice possible is don't worry too much about money because when you die, you don't take money with you. So just do what you love while you're here, and uh, and also try apples with peanut butter. It is a uh, Really interesting new twist on an old favorite. Sometimes seeing fantasies come true. Sometimes seeing fantasies come true.